Welcome. This technical support video will show you the different white highlight features that are a part of multi-rip GP direct to garment rip printing software. To begin with, I want to show you where you can find the documentation for all of multi-rip GP's different features. Click on your start button, go to your all programs, Find the folder for Multi-Rib GP, go inside that folder, and you'll see a documentation folder. Inside that documentation folder, you'll see a bunch of PDFs already listed out there and a color folder. What I want you to do is click on the Layers Guide in this case. The Layers Guide is a PDF that goes through all of the different documentation for the different available layers. What I'm going to do is scroll through this until I find the white ink highlight layers. You'll notice that in this documentation it'll have sample pictures of each different setting for you. The white ink highlight layers show up on page 8. I'm going to use some of these pictures to show you what the white highlight layers look like when they come out, since it's not something that I can show you just through the RIP, since it has different formulas or algorithms to work with. To start off with, when you're in your RIP interface, you have a couple of different options. The one that everybody notices right off the bat is going to be your auto white highlight threshold. If you go into this, you'll notice that there are several percentages listed out for you, and up at the very top, it'll either say off or white mask only. What this allows you to do is are, these are different settings that allow you to either use the multi-rip GP software to automatically generate the white highlights for you. If you have it off, obviously it's not going to do any automatic generation. But if you already have a file that's already has the white highlights separated, you can go into the layer type and you'll notice that there is a specific layer type for white hi highlight layer. This white light highlight layer will be put into the RIP and printed out with your printer at the same time as the CMYK layer is printed. So to begin with, we're going to use some sample pictures. These sample pictures, what we're trying to print is going to be this graphic. It's a Great Dane graphics. It's a Lone Shark. It's the one we use in the PDF layers guide as well. Notice at the top of the graphic it says the word Lone Shark in white. There are two big white circles down at the bottom. And then periodically throughout the picture you'll notice that there's some white highlights in there as well. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at using the white mask only feature in the auto white highlight threshold list. When we click that, what's going to land up happening is you're going to start off with the white mask layer features printing your two circles. If you would print that into a white mask layer, which is the way it's set up, and then you'll scroll down, the highlight layer will really only print the top portion where it says Lone Shark and the two bottom circles. This basically means it's only going to print the part of your design that actually has white ink showing through it itself. And ultimately you'll get a final product that looks like this. That's how you use the white mask only feature. Now if we go back into the rib and we choose one of the percentages, this is going to tell you whatever color has a certain percentage of white, it will hit again with another second pass of white ink to create the white highlight during the CMYK. The default for most users is 7%. To give you a visual graphic of this, we'll go to our white threshold example. Again, starting off, if you were just printing this, you would have the white mask layer, um, which would print the two white dots and the word Lone Shark. You'd come down if you were printing the colors and color layer auto mask, you put different thresholds, this box right here gives you an example what the threshold percentage will print. 
Now notice through the center of this, you're seeing a little bit more white ink drop down in certain areas. And that's the part of the design that actually has a little bit more white ink than if it was the white mask only. Notice the stomach of the shark, kind of around the top smile or lip of the shark, the nose, and a couple other spots throughout the design. So the white threshold will give you a little bit more white ink down depending on how your graphic is set up compared to white mask only. Now the final way to do it is if you've already have your file separated out. If that is the case, you'll want to choose white mask threshold off, turn that off, come up to the top, layer type, and go to white highlight layer. Now this would be if you were only sending one of your layers in Photoshop was already separated out for, I'm sorry, your channels were already separated out for the white highlight layer. To give you an example of what this one would look like, here would be your graphic and this is what would be printed obviously in a reversed white order coming down this way and you'll notice that it's pretty close to being exactly the same as the threshold percentage. This just gives you complete and total control over what gets printed. Anytime you can print individual separated uh, layers or channels out you will have more control and ultimately you should get better prints. And that is the features for the white highlight functions inside Multi-RIP GP. For additional information, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.